Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Unfazed. My name's Fazon, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the perfect braking mechanism for your Science Olympiad Mousetrap vehicle for the 2021 season. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated every single time I post a new video. I post Science Olympiad videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you're interested, make sure to again hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Just a quick note before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that this video was supposed to go up on Thursday, but the video files got corrupted, so this is my best attempt to salvage the video for you guys to enjoy so i'm sorry for the poor video quality and please be sure to look forward to new videos in the future all right guys so before i really get into the actual braking mechanism that will be perfect for this year's event i just want to bring to light one of the biggest changes that are going to be made to the rules for mousetrap vehicle this year and obviously you're still building the same car with the same dimensions and other features like that but the main change comes to scoring so instead of actually including the time it takes for your car to travel the specified distance and stop they actually changed it so now you have three runs and out of two of those and two of those three runs your best two will be scored and it will be scored based on accuracy alone so it won't focus on on time anymore so we're going to take advantage of this new change and we're going to use time to its to its fullest in order to maximize our accuracy of our car. So for our braking system, we're going to be utilizing something called oscillation and this video here will sort of demonstrate how that works. So basically we're going to be, obviously we're going to be using the energy from the mousetrap vehicle to move our car forward. But if you try to make your car stop really fast from your mousetrap, like in previous years, you probably noticed that your car had to, had, when it stopped, might have skidded, and that was probably caused because you, ha because there was too much energy. So basically, what oscillation does is it allows your car to keep using that energy, so it will keep moving back and forth until all that energy is gone and then once all that energy is gone your car will be stopped so basically we're going to be using oscillation to get our car down the track and as the car goes to towards us stopping through the target point it will move it will actually move past the target point because it has more energy to do so but after it moves past the target point the car will then the, the, the string will then rewind wind itself on the drive axle so as the car is going past the target point it will rewind on the drive axle and then that energy will pull the car backwards towards the towards the target point and then this cycle of going back and forth will continually go keep going until the car eventually loses energy and stops exactly on the target point. I know it's not the best description or it may be hard to understand it right now but please look forward to a video where I will be able to show you this concept in real life and if you want to be updated on that make sure you just hit the subscribe button and the notification and I 100% guarantee you that you will find this video sometime this week or next week probably on Thursday or Saturday depending on when I get time but yeah look forward to that video I'll be going over how oscillation works how you can use oscillation to improve your mousetrap car and I'll be showing you some designs I have that you can easily implement oscillation into your mousetrap vehicle really easily if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel for new Science Olympiad videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. But with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.